this is Ellie Buck. I'm here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront for USO's Warrior Week. Let's go take a look at some of the events going on today. Forty years of the service in the, the armed forces. You see everything that's going on, so it makes it real nice for the veterans and uh, for those who are active duty. Basically we're having a nice day, the weather's great, we're meeting a lot of nice folks out here and i um, happy to support the USO and our armed forces. I'm here with the Mini and this is just one of the things and prior to uh, joining the Air Force Reserves, I've done a lot of uh, community stuff and helping out in the community and got involved with the haunted house industry and Somebody dared me to put a set of stilts on as a clown one time, and I put them on 10 years ago and have been doing it ever since, and we came up with this idea of this costume, and the rest is history. So I just walk around having fun. <laughs> We've got all kinds of military vehicles down here at the beach. You can get inside of them, you can ask officers questions about them, you can touch the buttons. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I moved here from a foreign country and I figured uh, joining the U.S. Navy would be a great thing. The favorite thing to operate would be the Lark. Uh, it's an unusual vehicle. It's a uh, amphibious vehicle that goes in water and on land. A lot of people don't get to see it. It's a fun vehicle to uh, drive. clinics that we teach, a lot of our veterans say if it wasn't for this program, we don't know what we would do, where we would be. But once they get them on the court, whether they're a wheelchair, amputee, you know, substance abuse, all that goes away. I started playing when I was young, broke my back at 25, took a while to get back into the sport because I didn't really want to have sympathy from guys I used to play with, real serious like. So it was kind of something I had to get over mentally, but when I did, it became my most favorite wheelchair sport and I've loved it for many, many years. I've been out of it for quite a few years, and Stephen brought me back in a couple years ago, which has been uh, fantastic for me because it is the, just the greatest wheelchair sport going. You know, War Week is an event designed to celebrate wounded, ill, and injured military women and men and their families. Wars have the opportunity to participate in a number of events. I mean, several events, adapted surfing, deep sea fishing, tennis, horseback riding. These things are rehabilitation opportunities for these wounded service members. The focus here is for these brave women, women and men what they can do versus what they cannot do. 